And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. If you watch the hit show P Valley, you'll definitely recognize my next guest. Fans know Thomas Q. Jones as Maine, but you may not know that his resume is diverse and it's growing. We had a one-on-one -on -one about his former football career and a, a new series he's working on called Johnson. And congratulations, you're starting season two. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it. Thank and what you. can your fans expect from season two of Johnson? But first, tell us about the TV show and exactly what it's about. Yes, yeah, so Johnson is a TV series. It's a dramedy actually about four men, uh, black men specifically living in Atlanta. They all grew up in the same uh, neighborhood and, and also went to the same elementary school and they became best friends as children, but they just so happened to have the same last name, Johnson. And even though they're not brothers uh, by blood, they're, they're still brothers in regards to just how they interact with each other, uh, in regards to just them navigating through life together. So it's a pretty interesting show for totally different black men, different energies, different essences, different life conflicts, uh, different occupations. And we, we thought it'd be a great idea to show what that looks like, that brotherhood and that friendship from four different black guys. And how receptive have the fans been to the show? Obviously, you're in season two, so they had to like it. But what are they telling you as fans? The feedback has been incredible. I, I think it's it's a refreshing show because uh, I think, unfortunately, there, there aren't too many shows on TV that actually show the everyday Black men. It's, that's not necessarily uh, laughing at life or... Um, struggling to the point to where he has to commit some sort of crime to make it. This show is about four black men who are just, <laughs> just, you know, going through life every day as honest black men, you know, just taking care of their families, ambitious, um, creative. Uh, they have good intentions. Uh, they're just the, the typical human being that's just trying to, you know, maneuver through life. So the feedback has been incredible. They love all the different storylines. Uh, the show is very specific in regards to the topics that we discuss from marriage to cust child custody issues to commitment issues, um, you know, interracial relationships, uh, a lot of the stereotypical um, ideas around black men that usually people have questions about, those are the, the, the issues that we tackle on Johnson. So the feedback has been incredible. Now, what can your fans expect from season two? Any surprises, any plot twists that you want to tell us about? Give us a heads up and exclusive here on The Factor. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, uh, if you first of all, if you haven't seen season one, you can stream season one, all 10 episodes on the Brown Sugar app. You can download the app and you can see all 10 episodes. Season two, the characters evolve from season one. You, 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 the thing that Deji LeRae, he's the creator of the show, my producing partner, and, uh, and he's also a showrunner, executive producer with, with, with me on this project. We want to consistently show black men evolving. Uh, being better versions of themselves, learning from their mistakes, learning from the mistakes that their friends make. Um, I don't want to give away too much of the season two storylines right now. I was going to let you keep going, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I, I understand. I, 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 almost, I almost got, I almost uh, fell in the trap, I caught myself. Um, but, but I will say that there are some very controversial conversations and very specific conversations that we have over the rest of the six episodes for the rest of the season, five episodes, uh, matter of fact, that I think you'll really be interested in. And of course, we also know you from Luke Cage that was on Netflix. How was that transition from being a professional athlete to now an actor and not just an actor, an executive producer, a showrunner? I mean, you, you're really immersed into acting now. It's been a great transition. I, I, honestly, Acting in, in Hollywood was the best opportunity that I had after uh, 12 years in the NFL because it was challenging, similar to the NFL, super competitive, similar to the NFL, um, very high stakes. Uh, and also, you know, what you do is, is public, and that's what I was used to as an NFL player. Um, my work was, was, uh, was showcasing my talents to the public, and, and it's the same thing in Hollywood. So... It's been a great transition. I met some incredible people over the last eight years that I've uh, that I decided to take this this industry seriously. I met some incredible people. I've evolved as a person. Uh, my perspectives have definitely been um, 
I've been enlightened by a lot of different experiences and, and other people's life experience. I have some other projects as well. Deji Luray, my producer partner and I, we have several different projects that we're producing. So it's a never ending, um, constant moving uh, industry. And that fit me perfect. All right, Thomas Q. Jones, thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. And make sure you check him out on Johnson. Thank you, sir.